Um, do you regret going to the Titans? Yeah, no, nah, I don't actually. Um, it was a good like it was a good lesson, like a life lesson. You know, I um, some stuff was happening at Penrith. I was just about to have my son. Um, it seemed like a good good fit at the time. Um, Kicks was coming through, so and I had a pretty ordinary year in 2017. Um, yeah, I was coming off an injury and saw an opportunity to go up there with Garth, who I was very close with. Um, Hainsey was going to be there at the time and then he left, so it was looking like it was going to be a good team. Ash Taylor was playing really well, had Pizzi there, um, so I went up there and um, sort of, yeah, I don't know, it was just a whirlwind, you know. I'd, it just all happened so quick. I wasn't playing my best footy and probably um, all the outside noise, it, it affected me a bit and didn't didn't probably work enough on my game. And, um, you know, Garth was a really good coach, but probably just someone who I didn't need that time in my career. Because mm. um, you knew how good you were before or did you need yeah, someone a bit more? Because he's pretty direct. Garth's yeah, pretty he's direct. pretty direct. But I think I just needed someone who's a bit more experienced, you know, in first grade. Obviously, Because he was still finding his feet, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he true. He just coached us in the 20s and um, in the Reggies as well. So I think I needed someone with a bit more experience just to – um, sort of guide me a bit more and um, obviously we weren't going well at the Titans so that made it a lot worse and um, Justin came in Holbrook and I liked him I got on really well with him mm. and then um, I split up with my ex and they moved back down to Sydney with the kids so followed them and um, yeah I was just going to work I didn't know what I was going to do I was just going to play for St Mary's or get a job and then um, Brad Brad called my manager and yeah went from there but um, yeah, no, I learned a lot from the Gold Coast um, just to sort of block out the noise and um, sort of just gave me a bit more of drive. Um, people thinking that um, I wasn't good enough. Um, yeah. Wasn't going to sort of get back to where I could be or know the player I could be. So, um, you know, that those sort of few years sort of still drives me to be a better person and a better player. Do you know, I'm going to ask you another question. Um, I've seen a few guys from our team at Penrith go up to the Titans and, and make decent money. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon it's a, like, could you give advice to some young kid where they've got an option of getting the money and obviously you've got a family on the way, you've got to think about that side, but also going to like a, like a good club? You know yeah. what I mean? You know that question? So yeah. I look at someone like Papa Lee who went to the Tigers and he's secured the bag fucking congrats that's mad mm. but you can see that like, their football style go down as a consequence of their team yeah. and I sort of felt like that happened with like you Lani um, probably Tyrone Peachy mm. as well and then Tyrone's just sort of come back now now he's back in a good system do, mm. you, do is there any advice you want to give to yeah it sort of depends on where you're at in life like at the end of the day we have to look after ourselves it's a business you know Andrew. you have to look after yourself it doesn't last long you could be injured and be gone and you're, you're forgotten about so especially if you've got a young family but in saying that I'm at the point where is now you want to be in a good team like it just it, it makes you feel better about yourself you improve as a player like for less money you know like you just want to be around a good environment <laughs> yeah, and you want to be winning yeah, games yeah. like there's nothing better than sitting in the ch shed after a game having a beer with your teammates after you've played a good game um, and yeah but l like I said um, you have to do what's best for you like at the time you know um like i said it's a business you know? yeah i always find it like an interesting conversation eh? it's like mm. like you take the bag now but like sacrifice it like a little bit later or do you play like on the winning side i don't know yeah. there's no right or wrong answer is there what do you what do you think obviously you've just come into grade now you've been pretty lucky coming to two pretty good systems not luck you've obviously earned your stripes but what do you think about that yeah i don't know i guess like like you said, it's something that you got to weigh up at the time. But like you said, like if you if you're young and you want to maybe invest in yourself a bit and go to a team uh, for less, but you know it could help you get better and improve and obviously make you look better at the same time as well. Like I guess um, when I was sitting back and played a few games at Penrith, you know I'd always have people come up to me and say like, oh, like if you were if you were here, you, you could be playing every game. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, it could be true, but. You know, like at, at the end of the day, like, are, are you worth more playing in that team, not doing much, or you know, you can toil away here and at a good system? And it's probably lucky, like, had a couple options, and the para just seemed like the clearest and best one for me. Obviously, like, we had there was boys leaving and um, doors sort of opening, and like I spoke about Brad before, like he was a straight shooter. He said, I, don't, I, I won't promise you anything, like. I oh, so he's like he's not going. You're going to be our 13 next year. Nah, like oh, like shit. like when he sat down with me, he was like, I, I'll never promise. I don't promise 
Mitch Murray is his jersey next year, you know, like a bit of a G up that yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're not that was, that, of, that, was a, <laughs> <laughs> that was the sort of thing that he said to me. He's like, I, I never make promises because, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to break him. At the end of the day, you got to come here and earn it. And he's like, but if you come here and do that, you know, that this is what's here for you, sort of thing. And I, something I've always sort of prided myself on was um, just be a hard worker and be a good person. And because, um, like, where I'm from, Harvey Bay, like, I think I was like the first guy to ever to play first grade to come from there so Sick. like when i grew up that was not even something that was thought about or obviously you wanted to play nrl when you were a kid but you just didn't no have one ever person. did it you know yeah, like, no one did yeah. it like it was just wasn't something that anyone did and i guess when brad sort of said that you know like i, I was at a point where i was searching for opportunity and um he said you know if you come here work hard and um, that's where you reap the rewards of it a bit so i guess i don't know for young kids if they're trying to look like obviously if you go somewhere and you want it bad enough and work hard enough, then yeah, it'll pay off in the end, I guess. 